Somebody who listened to the most recent Not About Lumberjack story asked me why I chose to make one of the main characters, Akara Mak, a Cambodian refugee. I was born in 1969, which means that when I was in elementary school, junior high, and high school, I went to school with kids who were either immigrants or refugees from Southeast Asia. And I thought it was really cool because my friend Ski told us stories about how he'd go find these little crabs in rice paddies, which wasn't much different than us going through creeks and finding crawdads. And then one day a classmate told us stories about how he and his family escaped the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia. Now I'm not one of those people who believes that other people's suffering can negate other suffering. However, I will say that Sitting there being a kid in junior high school in suburbia thinking you've got it pretty bad and then hearing about this kid who crawled through a jungle with his family, some of whom didn't make it out alive, kind of puts things in perspective. In the Behind the Cut episode for In Cyprus Slough, I talked about writing characters who've experienced things I haven't experienced. The gist of that is I'll always include reflections of the people I've met in life, but I'm never going to tell the story about a people who have experienced something that I haven't. There are much better writers more suited to tell those stories. But I will include people who've experienced things I personally haven't. So, while In Cypress Slough is a story about somebody who discovers an ivory-billed woodpecker, he just happens to be gay and can trace his family history back to Mexico. In the story Calling Out of Time, Amir Nazari is the child of Iraqi immigrants. In the first Christmas special I did, there's a story about a vampiric snowman, you heard that right, and the main character is named Tarek El Kurd. I chose Tarek because I have a good friend named Tarek, and his last name is the last name of one of my mom's good friends. The fourth Not About Lumberjack story, Horus, features somebody from Somalia named Ayana Danjuma. The people I've met along the way have made me a better person and a better writer, so I'm going to always honor them in the stories I tell. It just happened that with Gerald's Grail, I was writing a story from the 80s set in Northern Illinois, and during that time I had friends from Southeast Asia including a friend who escaped the Khmer Rouge. I'm never going to try to tell his full story because I can't even imagine what he went through, but I want people to remember that he went through it.